come back from the future. It's a new year and I'm a little bored, so I thought I'd try something that I'm no way qualified to do. I'm going to try and give you some advice on your New Year's resolutions. Okay, so my first tip is not to be too vague when you're writing your resolution. For example, this year I'm going to be happy. Well, that's fairly difficult to do. So, a good idea is always to be very detailed. For example, this year I'm going to lose 10 pounds by biking every day. Or something along that lines, I mean. My second tip is an exception to my first one. Sub-resolutions. Now this, now it's okay if you have sub-resolutions for your primary resolution to be vague. For example, mine was, I will live a better life. So my sub-resolutions here are, I will be a better boyfriend, I will, be, I will be more productive, and then I will set time limits and schedules for myself, I will live healthier, less soda, more water, more daily exercise and watch my sugar intake, and then finally I will be happier, and my sub-resolution there is do more things that I enjoy. So it's okay for your primary resolution to be vague, but you've got to back it up with things that you'll do to reach that final goal. It always helps to write it down and put it somewhere where you can see it every day. Because if I even had a resolution last year, I have no idea what it was. Mostly because I didn't write it down. I've never actually achieved a New Year's resolution. So I thought I'd try something different this year. So qualified. I'm so qualified to help you with your New Year's resolution. I've never even achieved one. Whew. Okay, so we're done with that little little segment, little tangent. I actually had a really good New Year's Eve. I, I took a nap around 10.30 because I was beat and I didn't want to fall asleep like during the final countdown. So I woke up around probably like 11, 11-ish. I got up, I walked around because I was still kind of groggy. Um, we did the early countdown at 11, just in case, you know. I fell asleep again, and then, you know, we we watched the Chicago countdown, which was considerably less exciting than the New York one. Um, had some shrimp, had some sparkling juice. It was a good time. It was relaxing. We just kind of hung out, and it was fun. It was a really nice time. And, um... Yeah, it's good to be back. I mean, I was only gone for a day, so you know what I mean. You get me. At least one of you does.